ABC4 News at 4.30 starts now. And welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Emily Flores and I'm Courtney Johns. We begin this half hour with new details on the investigation into the unsolved murders of four Idaho college students. Officials are reviewing newly discovered surveillance video saying what they see could be critical in solving the case. ABC's Kana Whitworth has more. A new clue in the Idaho murder mystery. Police now investigating this surveillance image showing a white car. It was taken from an Exxon Mobil station's camera around 3.45 the morning four University of Idaho students were murdered. The station about a mile away from their home. They need the community to help. The parents of Kaylee Gonzalez, so who was respect. killed in the attack, now urging other businesses to turn over whatever footage they have before it's too late. There's a 24 hour mark on a lot of those little video cams. There's a, you know, a seven one week, day, a one, one month, week, a one month. We're hitting the month. If the key part of the evidence is outside, that residence, then we, ha it. we have to get, get it now. Fearing that evidence is disappearing, Chrissy Gonzalez shares what she thinks happened in the early morning hours of November 13th. I think this person went in very methodical. I think he, he really thought it out. I think he was quick. I think it was quiet and he got in and he got out. Leaving her daughter and three others stabbed to death and a community on edge. The campus now preparing to shut down for winter break. Idaho State Police letting us ride along in their ramped up 24 hour patrols. Everybody is very aware of their surroundings right now. They are, and really they should be um, mm -hmm. at this point. And uh, there'll be a resolution to this, to this investigation. But um, certainly in the meantime, everyone should be vigilant. He went on to say that he's confident that justice will be served. In the meantime, Isanna Kernodle's family is back out handing out flyers. They plan to leave 5,000 of them on homes around the university. Also, Kaylee and Maddie's families have now scheduled a celebration of life for the two to be held at the end of the month. Kata Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles.